it is turkey time. Now, it's still early, but this is gonna give you a recipe that is going to change the game. I mean, literally change the game when it comes to turkey for your upcoming holiday. So, we're gonna do a two-part video in one. Tonight, we're gonna brine the turkey. Tomorrow, we're gonna smoke it on the pit barrel cooker. This process right now is just gonna be how to brine your turkey. Let's get started. Can you see that, Amy? I think that's, that's better. And the star of the show this evening is this locally sourced 20 pound turkey. 19.38 to be exact, but we're just gonna round up, even though I know you're supposed to round down to 20. And this bird is beautiful. It is organic or whatever that means, non-hormone, GMO, all that kind of stuff. This is gonna be the beautiful, beautiful bird, the pre-bird before the final presentation when we see it come out of the smoker tomorrow. So for the brine, it's gonna be really, really simple. We have about three steps we're gonna to do to get this bad boy ready to go on the pit barrel tomorrow. To get this turkey brined and ready, last year I used Meat Church's uh, turkey brine or bird bath, and it was amazing, had some great flavor. This year, we're going with the Cosmo Q turkey brine kit. What that comes with is this mega bag of turkey brine, which we're gonna be using two cups today because you use one cup per 10 pounds, which we'll get into that in a second. Comes with this mega bag of Dirty Bird, and then it comes with some instructions right here that we're gonna use, and a brine bag right here. And the best part is my bougie Yeti bucket is making a return. Now the uh, brine bag, we're gonna put in here, in my amazing Yeti bucket, like so. Get an overview shot. Turkey's gonna go in here. Now, the instructions here say, mix two cups of Cosmos Q's turkey brine to two gallons of water. So, if you watch another video that they did, the Rookie Cook on Cosmo Q's, uh, YouTube channel, it's about one cup per 10 pounds. So we're gonna be using two scoops, cups, and two gallons of water. Mix that together, and then we're dropping the bird in. I'll get a healthy amount in there. Look at that. Now, we take it here, and dump it in the bag, and repeat. And there's only a little bit of the turkey brine left, so we're gonna go a little crazy and break the rules. And now, let's add the water. First gallon of water going in. And it's good if you use distilled water or anything else, but this is just water from the tap, so it'll be fine. And repeat. Now I'm gonna take a spoon here and we're just gonna stir it up just a little bit make sure we get it all mixed in there. Making sure we get it dissolved and good so that the brine takes to the turkey because I didn't really believe in brining before this uh, last year's video, but I'll tell you what, it makes a huge, huge difference. Now we're gonna get this beautiful big breasted turkey into the bucket here, like so. Put it in there. Now once it's down in the brine, you're supposed to brine it for about an hour per pound. This is a 20 pound turkey. So we're gonna be brining this all night into the morning, into the afternoon when we're doing our smoke tomorrow. We're gonna add a little bit of ice here because it won't fit in my fridge, but the ice and the fact that the turkey's still frozen and the fact that it's a amazing Yeti bucket and it's going to keep it nice and cool and crisp, will be good, so let's add some ice. 
We got the brine going, the turkey in there, the ice in there to keep it cool. The Yeti is gonna keep it nice and cool and not melt that ice. We're gonna close it with the lid. And that, my friends, is part one of our turkey video. That's how you brine a turkey. We'll see you next time. We'll see you in the second part of the video.